one of the th when I came to Russia uh, about eight years ago, the intention was to look at that next generation of directors that were fully formed or fully formed after the political changes, uh, because I had done that in Poland and in Hungary, making introductions to American directors and American theaters. And on the way to looking at those directors, and there's no question that they're Russia as a theater, a director's theater, there certainly are uh, important voices, uh, directorial voices, but the that time coincided with the the explosion, if you will, of new and I believe authentic Russian voices, uh, uh, playwright voices, new drama. Uh, and so I would take Molly Smith or uh, Jim O'Quinn or Jim Nicola, American leaders. We'd go see these uh, really interesting productions of new Russian plays and we'd find out that there was indeed probably a lineage to the royal court uh, and maybe a translation available and so there would be a production that the Americans would see that they would be intrigued by they would get the script in British English and very very few uh, got produced there was a production of the Presnikov brothers uh, terrorism in New York, but they used the, the British uh, translation. So, uh, working with your blogster, is that the word, blogster, with your blog man, <laughs> working with John Friedman, who really has been chronicling not only Russian theater, but this evolution of uh, these writers, probably. Uh, uh, Olga Mukhina, uh, Max, Maxim Kurushkin, uh, as the icebreakers, but now maybe a dozen voices, not just in Moscow, uh, interestingly, uh, interestingly enough, coming from uh, Yekaterinburg, coming from uh, Taliati, uh, that we embarked on a translation project that was taken on by a university, Towson University in Baltimore, and uh, I live in Baltimore and have had an association with Towson for over a dozen years. Um, Towson is providing the muscle um, for productions and bringing together the directors uh, who will work on, I think it's the number keeps rising, but I think it's seven or eight translations, American translations of, Rus of uh, contemporary Russian drama. And it, what really interests me is there are at least three different models of how that's happening. Uh, Olga Mukina's uh, landmark production of Tanya Tanya, it's been done in, you know, dozens of countries, is now getting an American adaptation uh, uh, that Kate Myra Ryan uh, is doing, the American playwright. Uh, that's one model, uh, and that will have uh, the young director Yuri Urnoff directing along with two partners of his, uh, historical partners, Sasha Konnikova and Albert Albert. They'll be in residence uh, in Baltimore for, I think, seven weeks. Uh, creating an American production of Kate Meyer Ryan's American adaptation of Olga Mukhina's Tanya Tanya. Um, that's number one. Number two is a director working with a literal translation and an American playwright coming up with that American variant. Uh, and I guess the third uh, is, uh, is actually a new a new translation directly from the Russian that's being done in concert with uh, the creative team that will be moving this to production. So in every instance, it's not just to the page, it is to the stage. Um, 
And then what CITD, what I'm doing uh, with all of this is uh, we'll create a, a gathering the 7th, 8th, and 9th of May in 2010. It'll be in Baltimore uh, where three or four of these productions will be shown to 40 or 50 of the partners who have been involved in looking at what was happening and some new partners looking at what was happening here in Russia and some new partners uh, and, and bringing a, probably a dozen of the major actors in that movement from here whether they're playwrights, critics, animators uh, and that piece of the, the, uh, the conference, those, the, those sessions where we talk about the evolution and talk about practical uh, issues of production, uh, we'll be streaming that live. Uh, you'll be seeing part of that on John's blog, probably. Uh, so an exciting time here in Russia. And coming full circle, the Golden Mask clearly has played a major role in that.